Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the session on Sonar Cube integration for Python project. In this session, I'm going to show you demo on how you can analyze the Python source code using the Sonar Cube to identify the code quality issues. Let's go ahead and start. First step is we need to download the Sonar Cube server and Sonar Cube scanner. So go to the Sonar Cube website and you can download the latest version of the Sonar Cube and also go to the Sonar Cube scanner and based on your operating system you can download the uh, sonar cube scanner once you downloaded these two softwares so we are good to go with to analyze the source uh, to analyze the python project now i already downloaded these two softwares in my local and placed under this particular folder now the first step is we need to start the sonar cube server in order to go start the sonar cube server you need to navigate to the bin directory and here you can select based on your operating system you can choose the correct folder in my case it is windows 64 bit now click on this start sonar now if you double click on it automatically it will start the sonar cube server and it may take a few uh, minutes to uh, up the um, sonar cube server once you see the uh, text like process is up and the sonar cube is up then go to the browser and hit localhost colon 9000 then automatically you are able to see this particular home page now you can log into the sonar cube server using the uh, admin admin password admin is the username and admin is the password once you log in you go to the administration and then marketplace and search here for python and ideally you should able to see the sonar python plugin already installed on your sonar cube server if it is not installed on your server means you cannot analyze the python project so that is the reason if this sir if this plugin is not available on your sonar cube server then what we need to do is we need to explicitly download this plugin and then we need to place this plugin under the sonar cube server plugins folder so sonar cube plugin you can download this plugin from this sonar cube website and uh, from this website you can download it once you click on this particular download button it will download this plugin so take that plugin and go to the sonar cube server and go to the home directory and then you can find here extensions and then plugin so you copy that plugin here and then restart your sonar cube server once you restart the sonar cube server what happens is you can go to the quality profiles here ideally you should able to see the quality profile for the python so just say python so this is the quality profile you are you able to see here once this quality profile is able to view in the sonar cube server then we are good to go with the analyzing the source code of the python project in this sonar cube server now the next step is now the uh, whatever the sonar plugin or the python um, sonar python plugin internally uses pile uh, pilelint as a um, tool which basically do the analysis for the python project that is the reason the next step is we need to install the pilelint locally so open the command prompt anywhere and it is better to open the command prompt with the admin access and then just say pip install pilot this basically install the pilot on your computer and once this is done we can use the sonar scanner to scan your to scan the uh, python project and uh, it uh, sonar um, sonar python plugin internally uses this pilot and then it will identify the code quality issues so in my computer i already installed this com uh, this pilot plugin that is the reason it says like a requirement already satisfied but in your case if you are running this command first time it automatically install the pilot on your computer once this is done now the next step is you need to go to the sonar scanner and then we need to provide the 
Python project configuration related in the sonar dash, sonar dash scanner dot properties file. So open this one in the notepad plus plus. And then you can provide the project key, project name, project version and project base directory for your project. In my case, it is the D colon Python project, um, Python test is the root folder of the project and actual scripts are there in the Py scripts. Now, if I go to that particular folder here, these are the um, Python scripts basically under the Py scripts and Python project is the base directory here. Okay, so now what happens is when Sona scanner is trying to identify the um, your Python project, first it look for this is the base project under that Py scripts are the actual scripts are available and it will pick these Python scripts and then it will start analyzing the project. Now let us go to the now now we need to once we add these properties in the um, Sona dash scanner dot properties file based on your project you need to provide the correct um, project project base directory and the sources once this is done you can run the sona scanner bat so how you can run that um, sona scanner bat is go to the bin folder and then here you have the sona dash scanner so this is the basically the command we need to run so make sure that you are running this command with the admin access so that we don't see any uh, access related issues. Now just say sonar dash scanner dot bat file and hit enter. Now it will start analyzing your Python project based on the configuration what you are provided in the sonar dash scanner properties file. And it may take a uh, few minutes to complete this analysis based on the project size. But if you look at the closely about how the uh, logger is printing, you can see actually exactly how the sonar scanner is trying to analyze your Python project. First, it is trying to get the all the go, uh, global settings and also related um, cache related, which are the dependencies which are required for the sonar scanner. And also it will connect it to the sonar cube server and identify the rules which are based on the uh, default quality profile available in the uh, sonar cube for the python and those rules will be loaded and then with that rules it will try to uh, scan your python project and identifies wherever your code is going to violate that particular rule it is going to create a issue for you so now it is see active rules are um, activate active rules are it is trying to loading and loading the quality profiles and also active rules and then it will try to match with what is the language it is uh, needs to uh, scan and for that quality profile will be loaded if you see here project key it is identified and project base directory and also it will identify the what are the source um, scripts that is and then it identify the um, quality profile as a sonar way for the python project and then it, the scan will be happen based on the uh, whatever the active rules available for that default uh, quality profile for the python and then it is trying to generate the report and once the gen, uh, report is generated this will be sent to the sonar cube server for further processing so analysis report is generated and now it will try to send this report to the sonar cube server yeah so the analysis is uh, analysis successful you can browse in this particular location to get that report and also note that you will be able to access this uh, updated dashboard once the server has processed the submitted analysis report now if you go to the um, sonar cube server and click on this projects then we should be able to see the project python project whatever the name we have given with that name it is going to add an entry here and it says like a project is not yet analyzed so that means analysis is still process uh, processing okay if you want to see the background thread out of it then you click on the background task then here it says like a status is still in progress once this analysis complete, then we are able to see the report in the dashboard. Okay, so successful. Now, if you go to the overview, here you can see uh, one course main. 
and also if you go to the issues it will say what are the issues are available um, after the analysis and also you can see the code here the PI, uh, py scripts and uh, this is the if you see here code smell one code smell is there now if you click on this particular um, file then you can see which place exactly that is giving the error okay now if you scroll down a little bit here is the uh, basically the code quality issue it identified now if you see here when you go to the quality uh, profile sonar cube uh, by default whatever the python um, python quality uh, profile default quality profile just has the 32 active roles but if you go to the actual um, quality profile there are 353 inactive roles are there now as per your requirement if you want to create if you if you want to activate more rules then what you can do is you can create a custom profile now i'll say sonar main custom python then it automatically none once you copy this uh, to the uh, once you create the custom profile then what you can do is you can activate more rules in this custom quality profile now click on it it will have an option for you bulk change click on the bulk change and active in sonar way custom py then apply now once the custom profile is created now you can choose this custom profile as a default profile in the sonar cube um, quality profile so that next time whenever you are analyzing the python project instead of the default quality profile it is going to pick the custom quality profile now if you go to the again python now this time you see one for the default another one is for the custom now you can choose this as a default one now what you can do is we can run this analysis again this time what happens is the scan will be done against the 383 active rules and then it will try to analyze your code and it may report more issues currently what happens in our project it is only identified one issue as a code smell but now we activated more rules and again we are doing the analysis this time it uh, sonar cube might be reported uh, more issues let us see what happens i'm going to pause my video until it complete the analysis so this time if you see here quality profile for py is the sonar way dash custom dash py because this is we mark this profile as a default profile for the python language in the sonar cube server now the analysis is going to happen against this quality profile 